What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. As you can tell by the title, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys how I'm basically getting my PS4 or Xbox One. I say or just because I don't know which one I'm going to get yet. But uh, either one of those, I'm basically getting it for free on launch day or whenever I end up picking it up, hopefully on launch day. But basically I'm getting a free console and some games for free as well. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys exactly how I'm doing it. So before we get into that though, as you can see in the background here, we got some Minecraft going. This is just a horde mode server. Love horde mode. It's pretty fun. It's about all I do in Minecraft now whenever I play. It ends up being a horde mode game just because they're fun and easy to do. So that's that. If you're looking for horde mode though, just type in on Google horde mode server and you can find it. Uh, if you do want to know, just ask in the comments and I can tell you my the server I'm using the IP. I don't know if that's interesting to you or not. But uh, yeah, that's in the background. We're not going to talk about it anymore. Let's go ahead and dive into how I'm doing this whole free console deal. And just to preface all of this, it probably won't work for you. So don't think this is just some scam of, oh, I did this, signed up for this, did this survey. No, no, no. It's not that. And it probably won't work for you. It may work for some of you. And this may work or be a good idea for some of you if you're looking to get a discount. And I'll tell you how it works. Let's go ahead and dive in. So... Starting from the beginning, this may seem a little off topic, but it do definitely does tie in, and this is a huge part of it. The new iPhone is going to be announced on the 10th, and this is pretty big for this whole story. So the new iPhone is going to be announced on the 10th and come out on the 20th. That's what we know so far, and that's awesome, right? So we know when the iPhones are coming out. That's pretty cool. I like iPhones. I have an iPhone 5. So a couple days ago, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to get a, the new iPhone. That's the plan. I can make videos on it like I always do, and that'll be awesome. So I'm going to get, new, gonna get the new iPhone. What do I need to do? So it's going to cost me $200 because my account is due for an upgrade. So $200 for a new iPhone. Pretty cool. But I want to trade in my old iPhone 5 because there's no reason to keep the old phone if I'm getting a new one. So I looked around, tried to find a trade-in value for a 32 gigabyte Verizon iPhone 5. Pretty much everywhere, everywhere I looked was between $300 and $315. Last year, I used a service called Gazelle to trade in my iPhone. And uh, I traded in and then bought my iPhone out of contract for like $600 or whatever. But I traded it in for $200, so it was only like $400. So it wasn't that bad. Plus, I got a 32 gig, so it was a couple. It was like $100 more for the iPhone uh, last year for me. But this year, I need to, or I am going to get a new iPhone, and I'm due for the upgrade. So it's only going to cost $200 in contract so I just have to renew my contract with Verizon which is no big deal because I don't plan on switching or anything like that so anyway back to the story here so a couple days ago I started to look in and then I was like alright well I know GameStop advertises that they have a trade-in for their iPhones or whatever old electronics you want so I stopped in and I was like hey guys what's my phone worth and they gave me an estimate of $340 which I was like cool right that's more than it would would be worth anyway from Gazelle or any other service 25 bucks more that's cool that's for cash though and then they said well we can also do in-store credit for I don't remember the percentage more it was like basically a hundred dollars more it was like four hundred and forty dollars in store credit versus three hundred and forty of cash so i was like all right well i'll come back in a couple days and i'll do the swap so i went ahead and grabbed my old android phone today ran over to verizon said hey guys i just need to switch sim cards over and set me up on this new phone and i'm gonna buy the iphone in a few days but i'm just gonna sell this one and they're like cool switched it out then i drove over to a different GameStop because it was just closer walked in and said hey guys what's my phone worth i want to trade it in right now for in-store credit because I can get more money and I can put that towards my console, the $440 or whatever. And the guy was like, all right, well, let me give you an estimate. Gave me the same estimate of $440 in-store credit. And he was like, oh, wait, by the way, I think we can actually set you up with more in-store credit uh, if you go ahead and pre-order a game. So it's going to cost you five bucks, but you're going to get more in-store credit. And I was like, dude, how much in how much more in-store credit can I get? And he was like, well, 30%. So the math on that, 30% more of $440 uh, came out to be five hundred and sixty nine dollars and forty cents for my old iphone so that's ridiculous i don't know how they're able to make that sale because the, the iphone is not worth six hundred dollars right but they made the deal for for five hundred and seventy dollars basically for my old iphone 5 uh, this is a year old phone it was scratched on the top as well so it was just good it wasn't even great so their great quality would have probably been like six hundred something dollars so my iphone had a huge dent in the top and it was still worth it, and they marked it as good, not great, but not uh, terrible. So kind of in the middle. So I guess I technically could have got even more in store credit, probably another hundred bucks or so, if my phone wasn't dented, which would have been ridiculous. But uh, basically, I got a gift card for five hundred and seventy dollars. So for me, what does that end up being? I am out an iPhone, 
but I'm going to pay $200 and get a new one. So if you subtract 270 or if you take 270 and subtract $200 from my new iPhone, that basically comes up to a $370 profit plus a new iPhone, which is really cool. So I'm getting a new iPhone and I have $370 for uh, toward a new console. So basically a free new iPhone and $370 towards a new console, if that all makes sense to you. So toss in another 30 bucks and I'm at a, a PS4 or another 100, I'm at a P, uh, an Xbox One. So either way I go, I'm basically getting a free new iPhone and a console for almost free as well, depending on which console I go for, which is really, really cool. Uh, another way to look at it though is you're upgrading your phone for 200 bucks and you're getting $600 towards a console. So you basically can get an Xbox One and three games and you know, you're rocking, right? You, you got a great setup. So I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And basically, like I said, a free console. So I do want to also tell you, though, the bad side of this. If you decide to do this, maybe you have an iPhone 4S and you're going to go ahead and trade it in. You could probably still get at least 200 bucks of in-store credit and make sure you pay the five dollars. Just pre-order some game. I was just like, hey, I'll pre-order Watch Dogs so I can get 30 percent more in-store credit. So they took five dollars off my gift card and added 100. So that was pretty cool. So basically, all you have to do is pre-order something and you get 30 percent more in-store credit. So, uh, yeah, I just promoted watchdogs, like I said, but the bad thing about it is you do have $570 in, in store credit, which is cool. And you can use that for a console, which is what I'm going to do and toss a game in there as well. But, uh, you have to buy it from GameStop. So hopefully GameStop actually has consoles on release because, you know, I asked them, can I still pre-order? And they said, no, there's no more pre-orders left. And they're not sure if they're going to have any consoles on release day. So who knows how long it'll be before they actually get the console. So there is a bad side to it. And I want to tell you both sides of it, but maybe try it out, see what your phone's worth and see if it works out for you. Maybe you can get a new iPhone and a console like I did for basically free, uh, which was really, really awesome. So I'm excited. I'm getting a new console and an iPhone. Uh, for free basically so that's what I did guys I thought I'd go ahead and share with you if you have any comments or questions in the comment section below just leave them there I'll answer them if you guys are confused at all about how the process works you basically just though take taking your iPhone and say give me a quote and you can get a quote and you can say yes or no uh, to their quote so that's that guys like I said though leave any questions or comments in the comment section below and I'll definitely respond to them if you guys like this video toss a thumbs up and a favorite and we will catch you guys in the next one so instead of the typical outro, here is a preview for a video I'm doing on the Fun Details channel. If you guys didn't know, we have a second channel called Fun Details. Basically all it is is just outdoor fun type stuff. Like in this video, we went hot air ballooning. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a little preview for you guys, show you some of the Fun Details channel and what we got going on over there. So here's a minute long preview. Enjoy and definitely check out the other channels.